Hey, Apple fam, welcome back to the Beard of Knowledge. In this Back to Basics series, we'll be going over the fundamentals of using Atful. In order to control your fixtures in Atful, you'll need to actually connect to them. Some fixtures like the Hemisphere have this built in, but most fixtures do not. Luckily for us, the boys in the lab have cooked up a solution. They call it a socket, and you can plug it into your fixture's XLR port. It comes in either 5-pin or 3-pin flavors. If you have multiple fixtures, you can always daisy-chain them together to control them all with one socket. Out of the box, the socket and the hemisphere are in easy connect mode, which is exactly what we want. Now inside of Atful, under the configuration section, tap the plus button and select your device to get started. From here, just double check that your SSID is correct and enter your Wi-Fi password. The other fields are optional. Once you hit connect, Atful will start its hunt for the most dangerous game. It'll try using Bluetooth and wireless networking to wrangle in the beast. Usually this will only take a moment, however, in high traffic areas, it may take a minute or two. If you're having problems, a couple things to check are the LED on your socket. Make sure that it's flashing green. If not, follow the quick start guide to factory reset it. Also to make sure that your Wi-Fi is configured to support the 2.4 gigahertz bandwidth. Now, if you're still having issues, please reach out to us. We'd be happy to help. And as always, be sure to leave a comment letting us know which feature you'd like to see showcased next.